Investors wait for a word from the Fed on whether it plans more bond buying. A new round of quantitative easing is the betting among most economists. And there are fresh glimmers of hope in the Eurozone as the Dutch vote for pro-bailout parties and Italy sees yields dive at a benchmark bond auction. Eurozone finance ministers gather in Cyprus tomorrow for a summit officially described as informal. It's unlikely to be too relaxed, though. The ministers set to give their backing for the ECB's bond buying plans and more detail may also emerge on what conditions would be attached to any future bailouts. Also, some chance that Spain will use the occasion to put in a formal request for assistance. Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy says he's still weighing up the options, but economists say it's only a matter of when, not if. The tentative optimism over the Eurozone is encouraging some investors to think September may be better than expected for equities. But BGC's Mike Ingram says there are plenty of reasons to stay cautious. Spain is vigorously fighting against any kind of bailout package. Uh, Greece, I think, is heading for the abyss one way or the other. I was, was talking to a, to a former colleague in, in Athens yesterday and he, he was telling me that something like six billion of the 11.5 billion in cuts that the Troika um, is asking Greece to make are, are effectively you know, fictitious. So um, they're going to be, be a hard decision in Greece there in October. And of course in October also you know, Spain comes back with a vengeance to the, to the bond market. So all these are likely to put downward pressure on, on European equities. More food for thought for the ECB tomorrow with final inflation numbers for August due. Price rises seen resuming on the month with a gain of 0.4%, the forecast from analysts polled by Reuters. That's all from us for now. I'm Jamie McGaver. This is Reuters.